Namaste, I am Dr. Sangeeta Sharma and uh, I am going to present my paper on the topic Transformative Insight, the role of yoga or psychology in con conflict resolutions. So my paper actually is talking about yoga psychology within modern psychological practices, particularly its um, applicability in conflict resolution by examining ancient Indian texts like Bhagavad Gita and uh, Patanjali Yoga Sutra. Uh, so the paper highlights the significance of yoga psychology in resolving conflicts at both individual and uh, social levels. It argues uh, that the principle of yoga psychology such as heightened self-awareness, emotional stability and compassion are essential in managing the resolving conflicts effectively. So if I talk about that, you know, the relevance of yoga psychology today, so I would want to say that yoga psychology with its foundation ancient Indian psychology merges uh, traditional yogic practices with modern psychological theories, which is rooted in classical texts like the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali. Uh, we have uh, uh, Mundak Upanishad and we have Bhagavad Gita. So we have uh, various uh, texts and it emphasizes the connection between mind and body advocating for mental well-being through the practice of mindfulness self-awareness and inner tranquility and uh, what is the core of my paper is uh, that yoga psychology with its emphasis on mindfulness emotion emotional regulation and compassion provides a reversed framework for addressing a conflicts on both personal and social level if we talk about the historical context, uh, what is the historical context and philosophical roots of yoga philosophy, then I would want to say that yoga psychology, uh, it, it draws its origin from ancient Indian script, scriptures. Specifically, I would want to quote here Yoga Sutra because the central idea of controlling mental fluctuation, which is Chitta Vritti Nirodha, is foundational uh, to achieving psychological balance and uh, uh, Swami Vivekanand and Sri Aurobindo, they played crucial roles in you know bridging the gap between Eastern and Western psychological uh, paradigm, highlighting the mind's central role in human experiences and the transformative uh, potential of yogic practices. Now, now, if we talk about the philosophical foundation of yoga psychology, so key texts like Bhagavad Gita, Patanjali Yoga Sutra, uh, and um, Yoga Pradipika, Mandukya Upanishad provides the psychological basis of yoga psychology. If you see if, uh, in, in Upanishad, we see, we see the fourth state of human consciousness, uh, which we know that uh, Jagrat, uh, Swapna, Shashukti, and Turi. Uh, in Bhagavad Gita, Radha Krishnan uh, quote that it offers insight into different paths of yoga, such as uh, you know selfless action, which is Karma Yoga, devotion, which is uh, Bhakti Yoga, and uh, Jnana Yoga, which is related to knowledge, all of which contribute to mental stability. Now, Iyengar quotes that Patanjali Yoga Sutra present an eightfold path aimed at achieving mental clarity and self-mastery, focusing on practices like self-awareness, which is Atma Sakshatkar, and meditation, which is Dhyan, to overcome psychological disturbance. So we have uh, basically three uh, you know, essential concepts of yoga psychology. Uh, one is self-awareness. Another is emotional regulation. And uh, third is compassion. These three are really main uh, component which uh, are able to work on, you know, resolution, on, on, on this resolution. So what is self-awareness or how we take self-awareness as an you know, essential concept that in the context of yoga psychology, Self-awareness involves observing one's own thoughts, emotions, and behaviors with a sense of detachment, which is essential for resolving inner conflicts. And we all know that you know, yoga, in Yoga Sutra, we have Abhyasa and Vairagya, which they talk about, uh, you know, just get detached from the worldly things or, or uh, the things which are giving us pain or, or you know, Adukka Traya. Uh, it can only attain by Vairagya, and then we have to follow or focus on abhyas which we are continuously practicing over these things and it and by by abhyas and vairagya we, we can also understand our true nature that you know what kind of person we are what kind of society we, we are and what, what is the reason of uh, conflict because if we are uh, 
mentally release, relax, then we can understand that what exactly the conflict is about. Now, Rand says, through the practices of mindfulness, individual can gain insight into their mental process, enabling them to manage conflicts more effectively by addressing their root cause. And the root cause, we, we all know that we have sattva, rajas and tamas, and the human uh, made of sattva, rajas and tamas, and how and where and when these gunas are working, if we, we can understand by self-realization, and we can understand that right now we, we are in rajas, so or right now the tamas is on their higher side, we definitely can understand ourselves better and we can work accordingly. Now, the second point is emotional regulation. So, Satchidanand uh, says that, you know, yoga pra practices like pranayama, which is breathing exercises, and dhyan, which is, uh, you know, um, uh, meditation, which is, to, you know, uh, focusing your mind in on, on one object or, or, you know, maybe inside. It plays a significant role uh, into the regulation of emotions helping individuals to maintain calmness and composure in the challenging situation. These uh, practices re actually reduce psychological stress response and they allow for more measured approach in conflict situations. Now, the third point is compassion. Compassion underpinned by the principle or principle of ahimsa. Uh, which is uh, which comes in you know yam and niyam. So we have yam and niyam, which actually can work in compassion. And other what we have is uh, maitri, karuna, mudita, upeksha, which actually directly work on compassion. Also, uh, it it tells us that how we should behave in the society. If we don't like someone, somebody, or some situation, we can focus on upeksha. If we like somebody, or if we are happy with somebody, or if we want to conjoin ourselves with somebody. Or some some social circumstances, then we can follow maitri. So these all are uh, integral part of yoga psychology, which actually uh, you know compassionate these compassionate practices, including uh, loving kindness, meditation, posture, empathy, and re this actually reduces the desire uh, for conflict uh, escalation. Now we talk about practical implication for conflict resolution. What is the you know what is the practical implication? Do we have any references or or how I can how I am saying that you know, do we have some example for that? So uh, Kabardzin says that uh, mindfulness it's a core core idea of yoga psychology, which enhances self awareness and emotional balance. Uh, both of which are critical for managing conflict. By practicing these mindfulness things, individuals become more, you know, aware about their emotions and their, their emotional triggers, which actually enable them to approach conflict with, with a greater clarity and less emotional reaction. Now we talk about compassion or forgiveness, which is, you know, very important part of uh, of uh, to be really uh, mindfulness or it is a very important part of uh, a conflict resolution so compassion cultivated through yoga practices makes the way for forgiveness and uh, uh, this is the key to resolving the deeper conflict by fostering sense of shared humanity which is very important compassion helps individual more move beyond the grievance and it, it promotes the healing and the and this this is what I said it is uh, quoted by Goldman I quoted Goldman here and now uh, if we see the how we have the you know references which is uh, where I see that uh, where we have actually applied in real world of conflict then yoga psychology has been applied in various contexts to resolve conflicts for example in corporate environments in in Introducing mindfulness techniques has led to improved communication and conflict resolution among team members. Plus, in post-conflict religion like uh, Rwanda, which is Africa's uh, landlocked country, yoga practices has they have facilitated uh, you know reconciliation by helping individual process trauma and the rebuild trust with their in, within their community. So now. I have presented uh, that you know what what uh, thing we need for uh, what what we have in yoga psychology or yoga sutra or other text and now we have some challenges also uh, these challenges we have like I have I'm mentioning only three challenges but I see 
one number one is cultural perception and uh, misunderstanding number two is uh, resistance in different uh, socio political context and number three is adapting uh, universal principle uh, to specific context so i i see that i'm i just want to maintain the time so i'm not going to explain this as in uh, just want to say that uh, the perception of yoga it actually uh, varies globally with the same culture being the purely physical exercise and sometimes we see that you know the socio political uh, ideas also uh, work on yoga psychology as it is uh, some people think that it is particularly it is related to particular uh, religious practices or it is a hardcore spiritual practice uh one more thing is that you know adapting universal principle uh, so while yoga philosophy yoga psychology is based on universal principles such as non violence and compassion applying these principle to specific conflict can be challenging due to the complex socio culture dynamic involved so in conclusion i can say that yoga psychology offers a comprehensive and transformative approach to conflict resolution by addressing the mental and emotional foundation of conflicts by promoting self awareness emotional regulation and compassion yoga psychology provides tool for individuals and societies to achieve greater harmony and the peaceful coexistence as the field of uh, as the field continues to evolve its application in diverse culture and socio political context holds significant potential for contributing to more effective conflict reg uh, resolution strategies thank you